um, yeah, this is something. What's going on, guys? Crap. <laughs> Greetings, gamers. My Welcome to another video now guys today we are going to be doing another video now guys currently I've actually just trying to get busy all day like I've been trying to fix my schedule everything like that until I realized um everything just went down to crap because I don't know what to do about my chore issue if I could just uh bail that out for like at least a few hours like during gaming because sometimes I do take like three hours of gaming and then after that I come back um, and when that happens, I don't seem to have enough time to like clear up everything I have in my disposal. And when that happens, um, there's a certain things that are happening and, um, and which I had in my life, I don't seem to actually clear up. So, uh, yeah, that sums up everything. Um, but in fact, here's something I don't quite understand. And this is actually for a lot of people out there who don't seem to know how to make things right with their children. And I, I'm not saying that they're doing something wrong or anything like that. I'm just saying they just need some time to think about it. Because when I first came downstairs, right, um, I went to go walk the dog. I came back in. My sister was angry as heck with my sister. Like my little sister, Elena. She was very angry. And when I first put this in, I'm trying to figure out like, really, girl? All that? And, I, and I'm trying to figure out this like, I can understand she can be a bit annoying, but then again, that's her, that's not your responsibility to help her out in this situation. Like, I can understand it's her sister and all, and that's my sister too, but that doesn't mean you have to be all Nancy Nancy and just try to be all mean and all that, dude. It's just, it just doesn't seem to cut it. It just doesn't seem to cut it at all. It just doesn't seem to cut it. Now, to be honest with you, I had my ways of playing video games and most importantly doing everything. And raging is something I mostly do when it comes to this game. But still, understand, it won't change the face that. Like, it doesn't change it. It doesn't change it. Like, when you play these games, it doesn't change it. It doesn't change the fact that you're still a player. It doesn't change the fact that you're still here. Like, understand, it won't change nobody's perspective by yelling at one another. And I've tried to make this sense to my sister one time. And I tell her this all the time and she just doesn't seem to listen. And most importantly, I don't seem to actually do much in the game to actually cover myself. And half of the time, that's how my life is. So I just basically let it happen and pretty much I just um, let it out going. And I think in that point, I'm pretty sure I'm right there, dude, because a lot of times you don't know what you're doing. Like, yelling at the girl is something that you don't want to do, and especially at me, because first of all, yelling at me is going to be causing a whole argument. Like, come on. And I've been trying to say this to my sister for the past few hours, like... So what I originally said was that she basically threatened and frightened me, pretty much. And it's something that really concerns me because it reminds me of mostly me and my father. Like, we don't know when to just stop being angry most of the time. We always get angry all the time and get our anger and take it out on some people. Well, me, I do it a lot. My father doesn't. Like, he doesn't take his anger out on a lot of people. But me, I actually do tend to take anger on a lot of people. So I see her perspective. But then again, I will literally think about what I've done and calm down and think for a moment. That girl doesn't do that. She just instantly starts yelling. And I've been trying to say something to that girl for a long time because none of my parents can do that because they think that it will do a little bit better for the girl. But really, you got a 16 year old. I'm talking about me right now. You got a 16 year old who basically just got raped whipped a hundred times, and most importantly, people insulting him or anything like that. And you're saying that that will do anything for a child like that? And I'm like... Really? Why does that make any sense? I'm trying to figure this out from my parents' perspective because it makes no sense that this stuff happens. Especially for my sister, like, she's just like... But really, it makes no sense how you put me in that position and you let this stuff happen. Now, I'm trying to figure this out. Like, do you want to see that stuff happening? Like, do you want her getting whipped most of the time? Do you want her seeing a lot of the doctors most of the time? Do you see her getting marks? Like, I've already suffered that when I was a little kid. I don't want her suffering the same. 
Now, if she has to suffer the same, at least she needs to realize that I've actually suffered a lot more than her. And to occur to you guys, you don't understand how much pain I went through to get through here, dude. And most importantly, I've gotten through a lot of pain, a lot of sweat, and a lot of crying to get to this point today. And the only reason I have is because my father does not know what he's doing. And I'm not saying he's a bad father. I'm saying that he doesn't seem to know what he's doing half of the time. And that's basically teaching the wrong way of playing a parent. In other words, he's not doing it right. Like, in my word of advice, in my valuable perspective, there will be some punishment, but there also will be, will be some behind whooping, only if it's necessary. But if she's just doing something that's just kid-like, then there's no reason to do it. Sure, punishments will work, but that doesn't mean you have to um, whip her or anything like that. And especially yelling at her, because that makes no sense. Especially in my perspective, I'm like trying to figure this out all the time, and you're standing right next to the whipping button, and I'm like, Are you seriously doing this on a kid? I'm really confused. Like, are you seriously trying to test that out for, like, any such as whatsoever? And I'm so confused. Like, you're trying to make things a lot worse for the girl, no doubt. And you're trying to make her exactly like what you did to Ice. Like, I don't understand. The girl already doesn't seem to know how to learn how to put her life at stake. And let's not forget one thing. This girl has no idea how to make her life easier because she always has to go to work most of the time. She usually do this when she's at during the summer. Like, I can understand she does it, but then again, you are already suffering a lot more work than anything else. I can't see what's your point of playing this, like, whole entire nonsense of doing it. I can't see it. I can't see it. Like, it's so idiotic that you're doing that, though. It's so idiotic. Like, I'm trying to figure out what in the world you're trying to do here, but really, you're just ending up on the same thing that my father already put you. And I'm trying not to get angry at this girl because sometimes she doesn't seem to know what she's doing, but she doesn't see it, so of course I'm gonna have to get angry at her. Sure, I stay calm all the time, and most importantly, I stay mostly calm when this girl is talking to me. But when she does yell at me, I have to calm myself down. Oh my god, it's so horrible when it comes to this girl. It's so horrible. Understand, guys. Understand that my life is a freaking mess because of this girl. It's a mess. It's an utter bull poop mess. It's literally all that combined. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've had my minor shares, and I've had my times where it was time for the girl to grow up. But understand that she's not gonna go through this every time if you're going to keep doing it to her. Like, at least show her the ways of doing it instead of making her do the wrong decisions. Like, I just always does most of the time. Understand you're not making it correct by doing this. You're not making it correct. And pretty much it's already a mess as it already is because of how everything just happened behind me, dude. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I've had my ways, but this is different, like completely different. Just because this stuff is happening does not mean you have to sum it up. Like, I'm just trying to figure out why in the world you're trying to have all this nonsense happen to you one by one. But really, you're just staying right in the middle of that stage and trying to submit something that you've learned from your father. And that is behind whooping from multiple whoopings that you've done and then your past oh my god this guy gets so easy on this man i swear to god what i'm trying to say is the girl has no idea what she's doing and all i need her to do is just chill and just think about what she's doing mind you the girl does something stupid most of the time and like every time it's nothing different. like when that happens it doesn't seem to change like, when that happens, you don't seem to get that angry at certain things like that. And when you get angry, it doesn't seem to change it. So, I don't see the point of doing it. I just don't seem to see the point of doing it. I can understand the girl needs some, but not all. Just remember that. She needs some, but not all. And guys, this is actually advice to you, because I think it's best we all will learn from this. Number one, always remember to never, ever do something like this. Never do something like this. Because when you do something like this, it just goes to show you that the consequences are just as worse 
as just being a simple parent. And that's the truth. And that is the simple truth. And my father suffered me being one of the worst of all of my family. He literally had to suffer with me doing it. Like, to be honest with you, I've had my ways. I've had my ways. But still, that doesn't change the fact that I am still, and once again, a little bit spoiled and a little bit too much of an idiot for doing stuff like this. I still haven't learned, but understand it won't work as well as you think it would. Just trust me, it will not work. Sure, it worked for me when I was a little kid, but when it comes to my baby sister, I don't think it's necessary. I don't really think it's necessary because I worry about my little sister most of the time. And when it comes to this stuff, it doesn't seem to matter. I really think it's good that my father has stopped whipping, but I don't think he will do it to my sister when she's like this. Like when it comes to that, she doesn't need all this. She doesn't need all this at all. She does not need all this. That's all I'm trying to say. And by the way, we cannot win this game. These guys are all camping, by the way. What a bunch of f***ers, bro. What a bunch of So basically what's going on right now guys I basically just messed up the entire thing I derped it so yeah but um anyways um what's the update right now is apparently uh there's gonna be something I really want to make something clear about uh number one it's up to you guys if you guys want to actually uh figure out what type of name you guys want me to do for Road to Prestige on MWR um I'm thinking of um these two names Zach to Steph or private to prestige that's up to you guys um let me know what in the comments or let me know on my twitter follow my twitter over directly in the link in the description thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to see more of these videos let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next time goodbye <laughs>